All right, guys, it's Spiffy Guy, and I'm back with another Around the Home video. And this is the uh, the next chapter, if you will, in the irrigation system. So in this uh, section, we're going to concentrate on putting in the poly pipe and uh, getting the emitter set up. So what are we looking at? We're going to be putting in poly pipe all the way along the back here, and then rows that are going to come out along my square foot. I'm going to do one half inch line per row, okay, with an emitter in each square. <clears throat> so let's talk about what we're using here real quick. All right, so this is what I'm referring to when I talk about poly pipe. Okay, this is half inch poly pipe. This is uh, 0.70 outside diameter. Now, I'm gonna tell you that I ran into a problem here is this doesn't fit properly on my right angle barbed ends okay it just slides kind of on and off it doesn't seat a hundred percent solid which is a problem but home depot still sells this they have two different types of right angles neither one will seat properly on the, on the hundred foot poly okay they will seat properly on the riser tubes okay and you can buy a 50 foot of riser tube for $15. You can buy 100 foot of this poly pipe for seven bucks. So what I did is I bought these uh, little 24 inch sections and I will cut them off and they will work with our compression fittings. So in between uh, right angles or T's or whatever you're gonna need, you're gonna use a compression fitting. This just fits on there and they squeeze together and then they're solid. So the, these pieces will essentially make my junction, if you will, off my right angles. There's always a way to figure it out. Okay, aside from your pipe, you're also gonna need um, your compression fittings. You're gonna need something for your, your end caps. What this is, is we'll fold this pipe over and this will slide on there and create a watertight seal on the end. You can also get a compression cap that slides on there and it has a screw end. Uh, that way, if you wanted to clean it out or something, um, and that may be something we decide to add later on. We'll see how these work because these are a lot cheaper. Uh, you're gonna need some uh, a tool to put holes into your pipe to uh, put in your emitters, okay? You're also going to want some goof plugs. If you make an incorrect hole, this will plug up that hole and that way you won't have a drip. And then you're going to need emitters. So everything I pretty much got at Home Depot, uh, with the exception of the emitters. I bought those online. These are an adjustable emitter. I forget uh, what the gallon rating is, but you can turn it basically uh, from a large amount to a small amount. And that'll give me a lot more adjustability inside the, uh, the bed. And we'll see how that works. Uh, you're also going to need... Uh, a cutting tool. This is what we used on the PVC, so it was a good investment. We can carry that over to this section of the project. Uh, this is quarter inch line. Uh, this would be what uh, some emitters can go on, and you can actually run uh, a quarter inch line out of this. You put a little plug in there, attached quarter inch line, and you can use it uh, for various other options. Uh, I picked this up, it was pretty cheap, and I think we'll end up using it on these small beds here to kind of get out to those pots. So we'll see how it goes. So that's pretty much where I'm at right now. Uh, I'm gonna run a header pipe along here with some T's and I'll show you what that looks like once we're done. So just one thing to note as we get started is I'm not a licensed plumber. I'm making this up pretty much kind of as I go along. And um, so just keep that in mind. Do some research on your own. Uh, also to note, this pipe is only rated for 60 PSI. So in a later episode, I'm gonna talk about how I reduce the pressure um, coming out of my hose bib so I have a, a constant pressure in my system. So just keep that in mind that you're gonna to need to make sure that you're not exceeding the pressure on this particular line. All right, so here is the, uh, the bed once it's completed. I still need to put a strap on my hard line that'll keep it up against the, uh, the wood there. And I could, uh, I could strap all this stuff along the end there. Now you'll notice down here at the end, I didn't do this last one. That's because I didn't have a right angle. This is a, a problem of mine where I, uh, I don't think all the parts I need. And I ended up making a million trips to Home Depot, but you know, hey, it's close, right? But so we'll just do the same that we did on all of these. Uh, you can see um, my soil is really loose. And so I may need to get more stakes in here. But uh, once, uh, once it heats up, the sun heats up all this uh, this piping. It should stay in place a little bit better. 
um, that's a hint that you can do is you can take the piping and uh, lay it out flat on the ground and it will uh, it'll soften up a little bit and be less chaotic but uh, here you go you can see the ends um, there you go that's a big truck all right so all we did was you know I, I measured off the end you know about six inches and then we just pinch it over you can see how loose this soil is though that uh, it doesn't want to want to stay so perhaps this type of stake right here may not be the best type maybe I just need some more but because the pipe is flexible I can I can move it anywhere I want so I have this this square and a half right here so I can move you know I can move it over a little bit and that way I can cover that whole area as opposed to just one square so pretty simple on that we're gonna do the same on the rest of the beds and it's just a matter of uh, working it in place uh, this one I think what we'll do is we'll just take the half inch line and we'll run it through there and then uh, maybe we'll take some quarter inch line with some emitters and pop them off there. So I'm going to put the poly pipe in and then we'll do the emitters. Alright guys, let's talk emitters here real quick. So emitters can be fairly cheap. They come in a, a variety of uh, types there and uh, some of them are like sprinkler, spray head emitters with the quarter inch. Uh, pipe attached, but regardless what you're gonna do on your, your poly pipe is you're gonna need to put a hole in it This is a simple little tool. You can buy super cheap. These are some emitters. I got online I'll put the link down below now. I don't know if you guys can see on there, but these are adjustable emitters. Okay, so whoop. What you'll end up doing here is you'll end up turning this little knob to increase or decrease the flow depending upon what you need So I decided to get a bag of these and try them out. I'm definitely gonna need a lot more but I wanted to see how these kind of worked. Uh, it's super simple. You just take your your tool and you just press it into the um, into the tube. It's going to pop through, and then you just stick the guy in there, and that's about it. And as you can see, I'm doing one per square, and I can adjust from there. I've pulled up all the stakes on this front one here, and you can see it pretty much stays in place. So once you stake it out and get it in the right general area. It should stay in place. Now back there in the corner where the pipe is raised a little bit, I may need to make some adjustments. I'll need to figure out what I want to do with the emitters because I don't want the water to drip down the pipe. But uh, I'm just going to go ahead and put the emitters in there and then we'll, uh, we'll fire it up and see what it looks like. Alright guys, so I've had a chance to uh, charge the system and uh, let the emitters go. I went ahead and put them all in. You can see all the little red dots. Each one of those is one of those adjustable emitters. Now I will say that I um, I had them going and they were all pretty much kind of going full bore, little water spiders. It's pretty cool. But because my soil is so um, so loose and stuff, water will travel through it fairly quickly um, if it's too fast. And consequently, I did have some water come out here at the bottom. So I'll need to keep an eye on that. So in regards to the emitters though, they're very touchy from going from just a slight drip to a full-on kind of water spider. And uh, I may look into some specific uh, gallon per hour emitters and try those on the next bed and see if I like those better. Um, I only bought one bag and it was $5 for the emitters. I managed to get the U-shaped bed, the little uh, container garden right there, and then on the side there and then over here you can see with what I did on the uh, on the garden barrel I just uh, have two here and I ran out so what I'll do is I'll put another one on a quarter inch line and that's how I do the quarter inch line so there's just a little a little uh, plug that goes in there goes out to your quarter inch and then you use your stakes and stick them wherever you want so I would advise if you're looking at doing this don't buy all of your emitters at once find out what you might like um, you might need different ones for each uh, each bed but pretty much that is about it all I need to do is get the rest of these emitters and stick them into the bed um, but the hard line is done you know be sure to watch the previous uh, episodes where I, I do the hard line and I talk about how I hook my hose up uh, all the timer and all that sort of stuff so anyway I hope this was educational this whole series and I, uh, hopefully it, it helps somebody out you know I'm learning myself but it is nice to uh, share the things we do uh, both things that work and things that don't so people don't make the same mistakes anyway if you like this give me a thumbs up you know uh, share it uh, 
pass along the information. That's what we're here for. That's what YouTube is, uh, is great for. So anyway, just remember that life's an adventure and go out and have one. Thank you.